In this video, we're going to discuss how to calculate the fixed overhead production volume variance. So let's say the company Lovebug manufactures candies, and they allocate fixed manufacturing overhead costs using machine hours. Now that doesn't have to be the activity base. They could use direct labor hours or something else, but let's just say it's machine hours. So we've got some budgeted information. The budgeted number of machine hours is 97,500 and the budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate is $4 per machine hour. And then in terms of the actual operating results, the actual number of machine hours is 90,000, and the actual total amount of fixed manufacturing overhead is $400,000, okay? So now we've got our budgeted information, our actual information, we can go and, and calculate the fixed overhead uh, volume variance. So here's how I like to set it up. Now, the production volume variance is going to be the difference between the budgeted fixed overhead and the applied fixed overhead. We, we can ignore this actual fixed overhead because that's actually used to calculate the spending variance. But I like to set up the whole thing like this. But we're going to be concerned with these two right here. So let's start with the budgeted fixed overhead. What we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, look, we budgeted 97,500 machine hours. Okay, so we're going to put 97,500. And we budgeted the rate to be $4 a machine hour. So if we multiply $4 by 97500 we're going to get $390,000. That's the amount of fixed overhead that was budgeted, 390000 Now, let's go to the amount of fixed overhead that we actually applied. And on, sometimes you'll see some textbooks that might say refer to this as allocated. Okay, if you were to think of, let's say we were using job order costing, every time you do a job, you say, okay, how many, how many machine hours were there? And then you go and you apply, fix some of the overhead to the job. Okay, so this is the applied fixed overhead. How do we calculate that? Well, now we're, we're still going to use this budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate of $4 an hour, but we're going to use the actual number of machine hours, which is 90,000. So now we're going to take 90,000. 90,000 times four dollars and so that's going to be three hundred and sixty thousand dollars that's the amount of fixed overhead that was applied it was three hundred and sixty thousand dollars so now our production volume variance is going to be thirty thousand thirty thousand dollars and it's going to be unfavorable unfavorable. So if you want to know the trick, so basically you look at, okay, so there's 97,500, that was the budgeted amount of machine hours, but we undershot that. We didn't get quite up to that. We had only 90,000. And so when your actual activity level, in this case 90,000, is lower than what was the budgeted activity level, 97,500, then you would say that the production volume variance is unfavorable.